confirm and now click right here and <laughs> this is not right Kitsuart. hi fluffs my name is kitsu and i have another tutorial for vtubers if you have watched in late 2021 when i first became a vtuber streaming on both twitch and youtube you may have noticed that in certain holidays i had different clothes on I do have blend shapes to show a bit more emotion, and when I first started making my new clothes for the holidays, I kind of wondered if my blend shapes had to be redone. And that takes a lot of time, too, depending on how creative you want to be. So I used this very easy solution to change my clothes without making any changes to myself. Before we begin, search for some free clothing around. The most common place I see so far is Booth, but there could be other sites. Creating your own clothes in B-Roid or drawing program is also an option. Before we begin, this will mostly work with clothes your character is wearing. For example, if you're wearing a sweater and import the texture of a shirt, it will not look right. I'm wearing a sweater so my textures have to be in the sweater layout which you can export from B-Roid. But I do believe there is a quick fix to this in Unity. Again, I do this because I have blend shapes. If you don't have blend shapes, then it's okay to do all of this in B-Roid. And if this is your first time using Blender, watch my teeth tutorial to understand how to import your B-Roid model in Blender and learn a bit of basic blend shapes. Ready to learn the simple skill? All right, let's go. All right, so now that you open Blender, go to General. You're gonna get a cube, click X, delete. And again, if you wanna import your B-Roid model into Blender, you can uh, feel free to watch my teeth tutorial to see how to do this. Click BRM and then search for your model and import it. Give it a couple of seconds or even a minute and the model will appear in here. And now you click up here to turn on the color. These are the bones. We actually want to turn them off. Uh, just click the I button right here. Click the I button to turn off the armature, which is the bones. Keep your colliders on and then click on the model go to shading all right and then you got your shade your shaders right here so everything down here is pretty much what's giving your model color everything is already pretty much in here for you um it may look complicated at first but as you practice you'll actually understand how it works but we're not going to go through the full process and it will not be too much of like you know messing with everything here we are just going to mess with the tops right up here right so search for top right here these are your colors so you gotta search the one that says tops this one says tops that will be the top of the shirt and you can see right here it says bottoms shoes cat ear so it tells you right there what color is which on what you have on your clothes here and now you actually go to main texture click right here and now we go to new image we're gonna call this one Xmas top. Click OK. And now I got a black shirt. <laughs> so now we go to folder and search for the texture that you actually want to import. Click it, open image, and there you go. And as you can see, there's still some uh, work to be done on this. And that's not a problem. So main texture. Now we go to shade texture, change that as well, new image, and call it the same thing, Christmas top. Click OK, go to the folder, and then search for the folder for the PNG image. Same image, open it up. And now you can see the back, the back is now colored. So pretty much the shader, main texture is pretty much what it does right here. I am not 100% sure about how it works but you know it works that's all you need to know <laughs> and now you got your normals so you don't really need to do any changes on these right here since it already looks just like it's supposed to look right here so really there is nothing else to do that's pretty much how you do it you can do the same thing for the pants as well So now I, got, now I got the full Christmas suit on, and all that's left to do right now is to export the model. 
Okay, so before you export, be sure to turn this back on, the armature. You want to have the bones back in there. Click and drag. Select everything. Turn on the camera. Turn on the light. You don't need those. All you need is the model. Go to File. Export. ERM. Then click Export Only Selections right here. Click that check mark. And we're going to call it Christmas Kitsu X. Export BRM. And now we can actually test this out. And to test this out, I'm going to use BUP. So click at model, click to import, XMS Kitsu, importing the model, set defaults, save, confirm. Now we click on it, watch the magic happen. All right, and there it is. <laughs> it's actually me with the Christmas suit on. So yeah, that was a very quick tutorial on how to do this. <laughs> Although 2D is still pretty popular, 3D has more potential and can be a bit easy to learn. With B-Roy, you can already do a lot with the avatar you create from it. If you don't feel ready for 3D or 2D, there's nothing wrong by starting as a PNG. Use what you have, learn and improve. My name is Kitsu and I stream Fridays and Saturdays at 8pm to 10pm Central Time. My goal for the new year is 1000 subscribers, so let's reach that goal together. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to poke that like and subscribe button. Share with your friends, feel free to follow me in my other platforms, and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care, Fluffy Fluffs. See you later.